Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom 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 Review stuff. And today, I'm really excited about this today because I've had a lot of this stuff. I've had, oh my god, it's fallen on the floor. I've had all of this stuff sitting around. Um, it's just in this box in the garage because it was going to be different kinds of videos for Christmas, for stocking stuffers. But guess what? I never got to that video. Why? Because Sally Joe talked my head off. So then the next morning, I just would go to Starbucks and I would just do a Starbucks drink. It was just easy that way. So I actually combined like three videos and I'm just going to go through random stuff I bought to review that I haven't reviewed yet. And I'm going to show you guys some of these things. I'm like so excited about some of these things. A lot of them are lip balms, I have to tell you. And a lot of them are toys. And I can't remember what the website is from. So many of these things I bought like um, at Ulta, I think. Well, here we'll start with, I gotta, oh, I should have been organized. Anyway, there's no giveaways. The giveaways are over for the month of December. I have two books that are really fun. And then I have a game. Well, I have a couple games actually. And then I have all these kind of lip balms and toys and all that kind of stuff so anyway okay we're gonna save the lip balms we'll put it over here so the things i will show you what i bought and then i'm gonna go through well no because then you guys won't want to watch the whole video you're so mean oh my god okay i had this friend of mine back in the day i won't say her name but anyway she would like we would say we were gonna read a book together you know we would both get it and then i would say something and she would say well i'd say i can't wait to find out and she'd say, tell me what happened i go how do you know she's like i always read like the last couple pages of a book don't you and i'm like no why would you read a book if you don't want it she's like i only read a book because i want to know how it ends I'm like, that is so stupid like it's the journey don't you know nissan said it the journey is the destination so anyway i bought all of these uh little uh different uh, one or two of these maybe somebody sent me but i don't think so i think i bought all these at ulta so i got this crayola lip balm here lip smacker best flavor forever i love when people come for me and they call my channel a lip smacker review channel i've had so many people that have said that i'm just like yeah what's your point <laughs> okay did you not know there was a lip smacker review community out there okay so anyway this is it's Crayola. I think it's super cute. This would have been a great stocking stuffer, but unfortunately, it's not Christmas anymore. Look at that. How cute that is. Isn't that so cute? Okay. So anyway, take the tag off of it. And so when you open it, you get a little container like this that you can keep for... You can put all kinds of things in there. And... Oh, I thought this was like a little box, but apparently it's not. And then you get these different... Oh, they won't come out. Hold on a second. These different lip smacker deals, which they actually feel like a crayon that's weird okay then you how do you oh i get it so the top comes off and then yeah oh that's good what is that is it just cherry cherry back in the day if i was ever <laughs> i can't go there family friendly <laughs> but my friends and i we used to give each other like you know you give each other drag names well we would give each other dancer names too because I had a lot of friends that were dancers, not ballet dancers, okay? You just do the math in your head. But anyway, I always said that if I was a dancer, my name would be Montana or Cherry. But it would be spelled C-H-E-R-I, and the I would be dotted with a cherry. Okay, or a heart, or a heart. So anyway, that's really cute, don't you think? <laughs> I kind of live for that. What's the green flavor, apple? Now, see... This is where, like, if you're an executive, you really need this stuff, okay? Like, if you have an executive job. <laughs> I got a new job. I'm a beauty consultant. And you would, like, be in, like, a very important, like, board executive meeting, and you would, like, pull this out, and you go, hold on a second, please. Yeah, could I see those quarterlies, please? Could I see those quarterly numbers? <laughs> I dare somebody to do that. Okay. So that is these, uh, that is these, <laughs> that is these, and these is this, and those is that, and these are who. <laughs> okay, so that's a Crayola Lip Smacker Best Flavor Forever. You can get this up in the Ulta. I got it there. Then the next one I got was, it's basically the exact same thing, but it's Starburst, okay? Was it the same price? It was exactly the price. So it's $5.50, $10 value. I guess they're $2 each. I don't know how they come up with these numbers, so. I just like to poke stuff sometimes. Oh my God, family friendly. Don't even go there. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And then you get this in the back. Oh wait, you get this in the back. So it makes this nice little tin. I now have all these tins. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. Anyway, isn't that so pretty? 
So if you bought both of them, you would have two tens. <laughs> and if you had two tens, you'd have a 20. I can do math, okay. <laughs> oh, sometimes I crack myself up. Okay, so these are the Lip Smacker Starburst ones. So these must taste just like mm, Starburst. Okay. <laughs> they kind of do, actually. I mean, I'm, after a while, they kind of all just blend together. It's all just one big taste is what it is. But do I think it's worth $5.50? Sure, especially when you have 9,000 uh, lip balms like I do. Okay, then the next one is, how many more lip balms do I have? Two more, okay. Then the next one I got is, and maybe somebody sent these to me, but I don't think so. Uh, maybe they did, I don't know. The Fruit Gushers and eight flavor lip balms. I'm kind of starting to think maybe somebody did send this to me. So anyway, I'm not gonna try them all because I've got so many things to show today. <laughs> I love show and tell back in the day. Oh, but let me tell you a secret, okay? So this friend of mine, when we were in kindergarten, I was so jealous. I think I've told this one here before, actually. My friend Stacy. So Stacy, she had a share doll, a share Barbie doll, and it's hair with like, you know, spin. And I'd always want to say things like, well, I mean, this song wasn't out then, but like, if I could turn back time. And I would want to play with Cher's Barbie doll. And then she, she also had, do you remember those dolls? And it was like, she had a Farrah Fawcett and a Cher one. Okay. And it was like just the head and you would do this makeup and hair. Like my mom would never let me have one of those. I had an easy bake oven and I had a dolly that like, you fed it and it pooped and stuff like that. I had all that kind of stuff. She drew the line with the doll with it. I mean, and that was stupid too, right? Because I'd be making like half a million dollars a year now. It's like, I mean, can you imagine coming to me to do your hair? First of all, I'd be fantastic at it. Come on, be for real, right? And you just get like all of this on top of it. I'd be making tips like crazy. So my mom was stupid. She should have got it for me. But anyway, my good Judy Stacy. Well, we weren't really good Judy's, but she was in my kindergarten class. So my good Judy Stacy, she had those and she brought them in for show and tell, and I was bam! I was like, oh my god, I want that so bad, right? But my teacher, I think she knew. You know what I mean? She knew. She knew about me. You know what I mean, what I'm saying. She let me play with Stacy's uh, share doll and all this kind of stuff. I got you, babe. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so here are the secret gushers. The secret gushers. The fruit gushers. Now, I tried, did I try one of them already? I really want to try the bottom one, but I don't want to go all the way down there. <laughs> so we'll just go here with the red one. What's the red one? This is Tropical Last. It looks pink in there, but it says red on the cap. Okay. That's nice. Very, it's like a fruit punch. I like that one. Okay, so that's uh, the lip balms. We might do another lip balm review later, but I'm re honest to God, I've reviewed about every lip balm that there is in the entire world. Okay, and then the next thing I have, oh my God, I don't even know what this is gonna look like, but I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my God, I, do, I forgot the back. Okay, so I bought this at Ulta too. You can see right here, it's the exact same kind of box. It says 550 value. And there are four different um, soda pop lip balms on here, which I've tried all of these before. There is the Dr. Pepper. There's two Dr. Peppers, and then there's a 7-Up, and there is a, a root beer, an A.W. root beer. I don't know that I have tried the A.W. root beer one. Let me try that. I'm, I mean, I'm sure I have. I mean, I'm basically the, uh, the lip balm aficionado, so don't even say I'm not. You can just kick rocks if you think otherwise. Okay, um, let's get this one right here. I wonder what my friend Stacy's up to today. She's probably doing hair, making a million dollars, probably own six salons or something like that. She's gonna get her own reality show like that Tabitha Coffee. <gasps> Did you guys used to watch that back in the day? What was that show called? And Tabitha would go in there and she'd be real mean and she'd say, I see dust underneath your station, you're fired. I used to love that show back in the day. Oh my God, okay. Oh, that is so good. Okay, I'm keeping that one out. The root beer, but the root beer kind of tastes like the Dr. Pepper in all honesty. I mean, it's kind of hard to work with just sodas. It's basically sodas, isn't it? Okay, so that's that. Now, what should I show next? Okay, well, I'll show this next. I haven't opened this, but I'm actually gonna give this to my uh, husband and his friend, Sarah. Now, that's a secret. They don't know that. I mean, kind of they do, because I already showed it to them. So it's not really a secret, but anyway, we'll just play act as it is anyway. This is, and I got all of these things. The rest of the things I'm showing you, I got from that website. I can't remember what it's called, All for Fun and Fun for One and something like that. I'll link it below if I can find it. But um, I bought all of these things over there. They have really, really fun stuff on their website. Like if you want to give a gift for somebody, they have fantastic gifts. This stuff literally came in like five days. I could not family friendly. It literally came in. Anyway, I got here real quick. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is the Friends television series game, right? And so it's a trivia game and it says 100 quiz questions. So you just go through here and you ask each other these questions. And I'm not gonna open it because I'm gonna give it to them. But on the back here, it says trivia questions and it would be things like, um, 
who came up with the saying, um, happy, uh, or happy Chris or happy Christmas Eve Eve and that was Phoebe and everybody told me that because I put that up on the Twitter because I thought I had originated it but apparently not it was Lisa Kudrow from Friends so anyway it would be like a question like that but I'm sure that that question's not in there okay so then the next thing that I got okay I'm gonna show these no I'll show those last is I got all of these things from the brand called World's Smallest Toys Okay, I'm going to have to do a thumbnail really quick, but I kind of don't, well, hold on a second. One of the books I got was called, here, let me see if I can cover the book up so you guys can't see it because it's too hilarious. Okay, so. That was my thumbnail. So anyway, I got all these things called the world's smallest toys, and I was actually gonna give them to my nephews, and then I forgot that I had them out there, so next time I see my nephews, I'll be giving them to these. But I mean, some of them you could keep for yourself, too. Well, should I just keep them in the, I can't even open them. Damn nation, damn it, Janet. Hold on, my cousin laughed at me the other day, because you literally just stopped the camera in the middle, but I'm like, yeah, I don't edit. Hold on a second, I'm gonna have to go get a pair of scissors, hold on. Okay, we're back. I thought I'd just let you see me scissor, <laughs> scissor on camera. <laughs> so the first thing that I got, I thought this would be real fun for trips. I can't bet my husband's so excited, is the world's smallest Uno pack, okay? Is this not so hilarious? We used to play this when I was a little kid. I used to love, oh my God, these cards are so small. Look at that. I mean, look at that compared to my face. They are so small. That is so cute. Look at that. Uno! <laughs> Did I scare your cats? Well, I don't know. Cats are freaks anyway. That is so cute. I love that. Okay. So that is the world's smallest Uno deck. We'll just keep that right here. <laughs> We're wanting to minimize. Anyway, this is basically... Now, these things I'm showing you are basically... I can't lose the instructions because I kind of sometimes forget how to play Uno. And then my, my good Judy, Tanya, she always wants to cheat on games and stuff like that. I'm like, Tanya, that's not very nice. But anyway... <laughs> This is for basically these things I'm showing you now for what's going on with my hair. Okay. I took a shower and everything with did my hair and everything then I put on a hat. God knows what. I'm just not even going to put the hat on anymore. Ooh, get over it. Okay. So <laughs> that's truly called unedited. I have now become that YouTuber. I have fallen with the ranks. I, it's hot in here, my lord. Okay. So anyway, but like these are all gifts that you would give somebody that lives in one of those little tiny houses, you know? Now, I like to watch those videos, but I wouldn't want to live in one of those tiny houses. I just don't think. Now, this one is the world's smallest glow worm. <laughs> Do you remember these from back in the day? Lived. <laughs> I thought one of my dogs just came downstairs. Try me, it says. Try me, it says. Squeeze me. Squeeze me? So here it is. Oh! Hold on a second. <laughs> Sadly, Sally Joe has left the house. He said, Sally Joe has left the building. That is kind of hilarious, isn't it? What did I just do to the Oh, my lord, the ring light is all over the place. Well, before I looked like I had a little concealer on, now I look just pale. Okay, so that's that one, and you can see why I was so excited to do this video. Okay, where's the other ones? Okay, then I have, should I just hold these up? How long has this gone now? I don't even know. Now I have, now I have, now I lay me down to sleep. Okay, I pray the world. I pray the world. I pray to God these toys don't break <laughs> before I open these crap containers. <laughs> okay, so here it is. This is the world's smallest spray gun. <laughs> so like if you're sitting across from somebody at work and you don't like them, do you always love how I reference people from work? And she's like, you don't like Judy Smith and she sits across from you, you know? And she's just always like, taking your ideas and just she farts and she stinks up the office space and you share a cubicle you know and so like you could just like spray the back of her pants and she wouldn't even know ah! i live okay that she walk around the office with a wet stain on the back of her pants family friendly okay so then the next thing that we have is the world's smallest rock'em sock'em <laughs> We're basically crafts and DIY over here all day long. Don't think we're not. And that's these two little guys right here. And I don't really know what you do with them. Oh, rock'em, suck'em, rock'em, rock'em. 
Okay, that was kind of boring. So anyway, those weren't the kind of toys I liked to play with when I was a child. I'm sure you're surprised. And then the next thing that we have, and I did play with these when I was a kid, and I love these. And this is the world's, you guys, this is really, really cool, actually. This is the world's smallest Lincoln Logs. And these are all gifts for adults, okay, just so you know. And th because you would swallow them otherwise, if you're a little ch kid, that these are for adults, okay, to give is like funny haha gifts. Like, do you remember that we used to play with these when we were kids? World's smallest Lincoln logs. Let's see what they look like inside. Oh my gosh, look at this. Aww. Well, they're not wood like mine were back in the day. They're plastic. But like, see, look at that. You can make a little Lincoln log out of that. I actually think I might keep that. I give away most of the stuff I review. Why wouldn't I? Who wants all this junk around their house? <laughs> and it is. Everything I review is straight up junk. No, I swear it's not. You should go buy all of it. Okay. <laughs> Especially the stuff that people send me. No, I'm joking. It's not crap. Anyway, it's not. It's fun. This is all fun. I think these would make great gifts. Okay. The last two things I want to show you is that I got these two books. Now, the first one was a Christmas book, and that is Die Hard Christmas, the, gra the Illustrated Holiday Classic. Okay, this is hilarious. Do you guys see Bruce Willis on the front there? <sighs> okay, and then the second one is, now, when, I have a very good friend of mine from way back in the day. We dated for a second, and then we decided that we'd be better off as friends. Okay, but anyway, um, we always wanted to go across country, like in a trailer, and we wanted to visit like these small towns, and we wanted to write a book called Slaws of America, like Coleslaws of America, and we were gonna stop at every diner like that had good slaw in the country, and we were gonna do a book. Well, guess my surprise when I find a book called Tots, <laughs> okay? 50. Totally awesome recipes from tachos to sweet potato pie. And um, this is by Dan Whalen. And so anyway, it has all these different recipes in here, which I think is very, very cool. And it talks about choosing your tots and what kind of tots to get. And then it has in here, uh, look at that, tatapino poppers. And then it has breakfast burtatos. You can make breakfast burritos with uh, tots. <laughs> anyway, it's about, oh, this one actually looks really good. It looks like macaroni and cheese. Chicken tot pie. Chicken, chicken tot pie, for those of you that love the tot pies. Tots for breakfast, tots for dinner, tots forever. Beginning with tatches, the paradigm shifting move of creating nachos on a bed of tots instead of chips. Oh, that does sound good. Here, I like, but I just like food. I mean, any kind, okay? Except for fish, I don't like fish. Here comes a tot, uh, tot -a -lama domina domination. Tots, poutine. I never had poutine because I've never, like, I've been to Canada one time when I was a little kid, but we don't have poutine down here. And cheeseburger tot sliders. Buffalo tots and totapino popper served an elegant brunch of tots benedict or a hangover worthy dish of tot uh, mijas. Go bistro with mules tots, Asian, I, I can't pronounce half these words on here, I'm sorry guys, or old school comfort food with mac and tot and cheese. And yes, dessert, including apple tot crisp, tot churros, and the unforgettable tot. Listen, like when you come for this and you're like, that sounds disgusting, no it doesn't. Who, who like hates a tater tot? They're all good, it's basically just potato. Okay, so anyway, and I don't, he also did want, he, he, I guess, in, in, he started the Quesadilla Bun Burger. I've never heard of it before. And he has other books out, the, oh, he has a blog called The Food in My Beard and author of Stuff, The Ultimate Comfort Food Cookbook. So, there you go, you can go buy that. And then the last book is The Die Hard Christmas, written by Doogie Horner and illustrated by J.J. Harrison, the illustrated holiday classic. Should we dive into this, boys and girls, just for a second and see? Twas the night before Christmas and up at the tower. Oh, this is from Die Hard One. Y'all remember Die Hard One? Everyone was partying except for one wallflower. That was Bruce, uh, Bruce Willis' character. I can't remember his name. John, oh, John McClane. John McClane missed his wife. <laughs> Things just weren't the same since Hollywood had moved west since Holly had moved west and changed her last name. He tried to win her back, but still she said no, while unbeknownst to them there was trouble below. A truck had pulled up and who should disembark but fourteen men whose intentions were dark. They spoke not a word and unloaded let's just skip to the end like my good Judy. She just liked to read the last page. Let's just read the very end. Up there. Now he got he's got his shirt off, and that's where he's with Bonnie Bedelia. Do you remember Bonnie Bedelia? She played his wife and then, okay, we're almost at the end of it. He, uh, Hans fell out the window, still holding Holly's arm, and slowly, deliberately raised his firearm. The tenacious villain held on by his nails till John unhooked Holly's watch and said, Happy trails. Uh, Bearer Bond fluttered like fresh fallen snow as Holly embraced her blood spattered bow. So, Merry Christmas to all. Be kind to one another, and most of all, yippee yay. Ka yippee ki yay. Oh my 
god, family friendly. But that is fantastic, and I'm gonna be giving that to somebody for Christmas next year. So anyway, let me know what you think about all those things that I put down in the, uh, I, I'm like, I have to do a giveaway, but the giveaways are over. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the giveaway. I did notice, honestly, that as soon as the giveaway was over, I lost like 300 subscribers, like immediately. I said you didn't have to be subscribed to my channel to win a giveaway, okay? So anyway, I love you guys. Put what you think about that in the comment section below or things that you would like to see me review in 2020. I love you guys and I will see you later. Bye.